as you all look ahead. So subtract the quotient of A divided by B. The quotient of A divided by B. It is just simply what you get when you take A divided by B. Okay? So this part is together. The quotient of A divided by B. Subtract this away from the cube of B. We are going to take the quotient away from the cube. So we start with the cube of B. B cube. That is the original. And we are going to take something away from it. What are we taking away? The quotient. A divided by B. That's all. Okay, we move on to the next question. Huh? Where, where I get a what? V. The cube of V. Ah, cube of V. Next one, part F. Divide the product of x and 3y. Okay, product of x and 3y. This portion comes together. This is simply 3xy. Can I put 3yx? Can? 3yx, is it the same? Yes, it is the same. Uh, do I have a preference? Yes, I have a preference. I like to go from A to, to Z. La. But you are perfectly fine to write 3yx if you want to. It's my personal preference. I want to put x and then y. Okay? So we want to divide this by the sum, the sum of x and y. Okay, let, let's put it on the top. So it's getting a little more complex now. The sum of x and 3y. What is the sum of x and 3y? 3y plus x plus 3 y plus x. Yes, 3y plus x. x plus 3y, same thing. Okay, so this is x plus 3y. This is the sum of x and 3y. Okay, so let me take a look again. Okay? Divide the product of x and 3y. So meaning divide 3xy by something. Okay, by the sum of x and 3y. I got x plus 3 Hey, that's another word, cube. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm supposed to cube the sum of x and 3y. So I'm supposed to put it this way, x plus 3y with a cube. Okay? So now, go back to the question again. Divide 3xy by x plus 3y cube. Ah, now the answer is simply 3xy over x plus 3y power 3. And then finally, the last one. Add to the cube of c plus d. Add the cube of c plus d to the square of a minus b. Can you try this? Try this for yourself. Add the cube of c plus d to the square of a minus b. Okay, do it part. Is this what you got? The cube of c plus d c plus d power 3 plus the square so a minus b squared is this what you got do you have it the other way around i mean uh, you could you could write it this way like a minus b squared plus c plus d cube it's the same thing right okay either one is the same huh okay, moving on to exercise eight now um penny is m years old are you afraid when you see this sentence penny is m years old are you nervous? M years old. Oh, I don't know what's M. I think in primary school, they always say a penny is uh, what, 10 years old, uh, 12 years old, 30 years old. Now they say he, she's M years old. Don't be afraid. It is just a number. I just don't know the number yet. Everything else works the same. Now, her brother is M years older than her. Who is older? Brother older, right? Older by how much? N years. It's just a number. Don't be afraid. Her mother is thrice as old as Penny. Thrice as old. What does thrice mean? Three, three times. Three times, huh? Three times of who? Penny. The father is three and a half times as old as the brother. Write down the expression in terms of M and N for the age of Penny's mother. Okay, so what is the mother's age? Age. What's the age of the mother? Thrice as old as Penny, right? And you have to be thrice means three times. 3 times something. 3 times what? 3 times m, right? Penny is m years old. So 3 times m. Do we want to write 
3 times m. Do you want to write it this way? Or, or should I um, should I put like this? Should I do it like this? Is this my final answer? Is this the final answer? No, huh? What should we put it as? The final answer. But it's just 3m. It's just like this. You don't need to draw brackets. You don't need to write multiplication. So h is 3m. Done. Huh? Even better than primary school. Primary school, you still need to take 3 times whatever that is, 13. They still need to uh, do your working or do your calculator. Algebra better. Just leave it. That's it. That's, we're done. Now, what about h of the father? Father is three and a half times as old as her brother. Do we know the age of the brother yet? No, can we find out? Yeah, let's find out the age of brother. Age, brother's age. What's the brother's age? What was the brother's age? N. Is it N? Really? Is it just N? Is it minus? Which one is it? Look, the brother is N years older than her. So how old is the brother? N plus M. Imagine now uh, your brother is four years older than you. How to find a brother's age? Take your age plus four lah. Right? If I say your brother is 20 years older than you, quite unlikely lah, but let's say. Then how old is the brother? Take your age plus 20 lah. Now, in this case, penny is m, brother is n years older. What do we do? Add la. Huh? n plus m. Anything else we can do for brother? Nothing to do really, right? n plus m. I don't know what's n, I don't know what's m. We leave it as that. Now, they tell us that the father's age, father's age, is three and a half times as old as her brother. Three and a half times. What does three and a half mean? How do you write three and a half? Three and a half like this? Yeah. Yes? Uh, or 3.5, then you multiply by what? Uh? So multiply by n plus m. Yeah. Do you think this is correct? Yes. Yes? Times first. Uh. So, so do we do this part first? Is it three and a half times of n, then plus m, or three and a half times? Multiply three and a half multiplied by the whole m plus n. Three n plus m. No. Okay. First thing, ah, uh, this three and a half, right? This mixed fraction, we don't like it. Three and a half looks like three times half, which is not the case. Uh, I mean, writing it this way, it looks. You you could interpret it as, you know, like. You might interpret it as 3 multiplied by half, which yeah, uh, gives us the same value, but it gets confusing. Okay, So instead of using mixed fractions, we like to use improper fraction in algebra. Can okay, you change this to improper fraction very quickly? How much is this? Uh? 3 and a half. 7 over 2? Do you know how to do it? Do you know how you, that you can use your calculator to do it for you? Just press 3 and a half in your calculator, press equal, it will tell you 7 over 2. Okay, so we want to put it as improper fraction. Decimal is fine also, 3.5. Okay, so, so right now we have father's age is 3.5 times of n plus m. Do you think this is correct? If I ask you to do this, you will do 7 over 2 multiplied by n first. Then you, might, then you add m, isn't it? But is this what we really want? No, we wanted three and a half times of n plus m the n plus m comes together we have to do that first then we multiply by seven over two okay so um, again we don't like to have all this multiplication sign we can actually remove it to become seven over two n plus m all right so let me put some notes over here no mixed fraction no mixed fractions. So if you were to write three and a half n plus m, you will be penalized for your presentation. Okay?